I gotta say, Bryce, I might call your style cheesy just because you drone so hard. Yeah, a lot of people do. Don't see the robotic support, eh? Alright, so this is a deviation here. Uh, instead of getting the, the Hydra Dan, you've gone double Evo. Yeah, because I don't see the, uh... <coughs> well, I don't see Void Rays, pretty much. And... I don't like this force that's moving out to kill my third right now. Gonna try and use these to scout. Yep. Bought yourself the crucial seconds that you needed, it looks like. Yep. Roach taking that last probe with him. So that's a pretty fast third from Toss, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's extremely fast. Are we gonna try to punish that or are we just gonna macro harder? Uh, got a macro harder. I can't. It's kind of hard to punish a, an expansion once it's up like that. Two links to retake that tower control. Yep. Sometimes I feel like just keeping up with what you're doing is an accomplishment <laughs> in and of itself. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. And with the extra zerg, I'm just gonna have it patrolling for his fourth. Uh, which I just found a pile on it. single Hydra this game, which is interesting. Yeah, I'm not really sure what he's doing, to be honest. I haven't seen Void Rays and I haven't seen Colossus, so it's kind of hard to really take a guess. Just need to go ahead and make an Overseer, use it to scout him. Oh god, you walked right past the zealot. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> and whenever I find myself against a three base Protoss, I get very scared and sad. Uh, yeah, three base is bad, but four base is impossible. So, as long as he doesn't get to four base, I'm still worried, but feel like I should be all right. Do we mean that in the literal sense of the word? Four yes. Four bath is impossible. <laughs> four four bath. Yes, it's an impossible. <laughs> so once he gets that fourth up, I feel like I have to be doing my bailing drops. I have to do anything possible, basically, to uh, prevent him from securing that extra income. And there's the Colossus. But we are maxed, so we can't really crank out. Oh, you already have him coming. Never mind. I lied. Now, at what timing in the game do you do these spore crawlers? Um, I I guess like once I have broodlords, I'm not actually uh, I'm more just worried about the DTs at the moment. Yeah. But typically, like as I'm securing my hive, is a pretty good timing it seems. I played a game with Jeff yesterday where I, I, I'm telling you, dude, I had him beat. I was at 200 supply. I denied his third base the whole game. He was at 120 supply. And then one Dark Templar killed every drone that I had because I just refused to make detection for some reason. It's very frustrating.
Corruptors by us. Come on, we've got about nine Corruptors. And now we're approaching that time in the game when Protoss is really scary. I yep. Just to say we're we're right in the middle of that time, rather than, yep. than approaching it. Hurry up, Greater Spire. Now at this point, going second ahead, spire. get my Baneling Ness, yeah, I get a second Spire for upgrades, and I'm just going to start cranking out the Broodlords and doing Baneling drops. And this is standard machine. Yep. I have seen this before. I, I really, it's almost infuriating playing against a toss. It just sits back like this and just waits and waits and waits. Yep. Me being a little too broodlord heavy at this point. I'm a bit worried. On the re on the reload. Yep. And I would be asking more questions, but I feel like a little stressed right now. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. GTS. That ball, so fucking. Yep. Annoying. Yep. It's hard to deal with, that's for sure. Yeah. 
And I didn't get my rich one up in time. There we go. And good game. I got uh, a little too beard lord heavy. That's yep. my biggest problem there. And uh, like I said, I didn't want to bug you too much in the heat of the battle, but you also had 93 drones there. Yeah, Which yeah. A lot. Mm. Yep. So all right, so we just kind of played a standard game. He 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 took that one off us. So uh, is this a time when you would consider mixing it up, or would you or would you continue to fall back on your macro in in like a in like a longer game or mm. in a series? Uh, it depends on the series, I guess, and it depends on the map. Once again, uh, a game like that, you know, I I probably would try to not let it bother me too much. I, if anything, because he won, he might be expecting me to cheese the next mm -hmm. game, so I'd probably would just go ahead and play it standard, uh, unless of course like the map was Steps of War or something like that. Well then, let's go play Steps. <laughs> All right. <laughs> just to make it hard. Alex is a boss. He took a game off of Rhett, too, and he's he's beaten actually every pro that I've brought on. So yeah, far, yeah, at he's least, very good. At least once. Yeah, I think he beat me last time as well. So here it is, Steps of War. What what is uh how do we, how do we approach this map? Well, typically, uh, the 14 pool, 16 uh, hatch opening I, I always do is actually like impossible to open with on this map. <coughs> so, I'm always going to be opening gas first builds on this, mm -hmm. and gas first kind of allows for a lot of different options early on. Uh, this is isn't a terrible map for any kind of like a one base roach rush, like you know your seven roach rush or something like that. Uh, if they open like sort of two gate pressure, which is uh, at least it used to be pretty common on this map, you can do like baneling bus uh, against like early zealot harass, which isn't bad. But typically, more of your cheese or your non-standard play is going to be geared towards two base versus two base. Uh, if they go ahead and do like some sort of like a standard three gate opening expand. I find it's actually much harder to to deal with than some of like the more just like four gate uh, openings that you'd you'd expect on a map like this. And so a lot of the cheeses are more to kind of exploit the possibility of them taking that early expansion. Uh, you know, like a, a a roach rush that hits before speed. Like you know, instead of getting speed, you delay layer attack. Uh, a lot of just different little timings that kind of exploit the uh, distance between bases early on. So are you hitting it like maybe that 21 drone roach speedling all in? Um, I'm actually not sure what I'm going to do yet. It depends on what I what you scout. I scout him doing here. Yeah. A lot of cheese. Well, cheese is uh, 